Good day, good love, and good light. Illuminators and way showers. Wendy and Dave here heading out of the driveway <laughs> along with Turtle. We've talked a little bit about Turtle. So here we are heading out. We're heading out to a couple of, uh, what do you, uh, I'm going to say home improvement, but that's not what I meant to say. Oh, we're going to take the garbage tractor first. Tractor supply. <laughs> going to the tractor supply. So we're going to get some gardening stuff and some more stuff for seeds and composting. So we're also gonna look at compost bins. So, as we drive by our little garbage cans here, dumping off our garbage. Um, <clears throat> and yes, we do recycle to the best of our ability here. And so, just a moment about composting. So, one of the things about being holistic and the idea of higher vibrational living is of course living in harmony. <laughs> living in harmony with our with our beloved mother earth and one of the ways that you can do that and help your environment your little environment your big environment whatever it may be is to compost whether it's for your own little apartment plants uh, if you've got just a little bit of space <laughs> or <clears throat> if you have a large place so uh, composting is something I've been doing for many, many years, um, gardening, even when I just had a little tiny raised bed garden. So whether you're creating it for on a small scale or a large scale, it's, it's one of the ways that we can, uh, I'm thinking of cycle, so I'm not saying, I, I want to say create the cycle, but maintain this, this cycle of the food scraps that we use and how it can benefit our gardens and all of our plants. And so in, in all the little ways that we can live a more higher vibrational, loving, caring, um, earth awareing <laughs> inhabitants, all the actions that we take, whether we whether we are abiding by the the rules of fit the laws of physics that say we're new every now and that we're traveling through billions and billions of possible realities moment by moment the idea is is that once again we're raising our vibration to literally change in that moment to the version of the earth that we prefer and that version really is based upon our actions and Dave and I were just talking about that a little while ago about how we can channel, we can receive information, uh, we can um, get downloads, we can um, have all of these thoughts and imaginations, but yet we're here to play in physical reality. And the way to do that is to crystallize it, to actually create the action that creates the, uh, the definition, I guess, for the, the, the version of earth that you prefer to be on so so that's and so part of our journey here today is is picking up the seed starter and I'll be sharing a little bit more of what we've been working on <laughs> the last couple of weeks at home uh, up at the house when we get back so just thought we'd take you on a, a little quick ride here and I forgot my cards I was gonna bring a deck of cards and just draw a couple of cards for you guys on the way <laughs> um, but I forgot them so and but remember, I remember yes you won't see it until you are it and that's a fact and that yeah so what else would you like to add to this uh, uh what well, he is driving so I do want him to pay attention to the road well, but just the, the term holistically uh, considering the way you want to live so uh, sorry windshield's pretty dirty mm -hmm. I did so, <laughs> um, so you do the best that you can and that's what we were just talking about because sometimes I feel like like I'm failing because I'm not seeing the results of it but I have to be it first and then I will see it and or achieving <laughs> the results that you think you want to have so when you release it expectations of the actual results yes that doesn't mean you change how you want to act and how you want to be regardless of what you see outside you because that's how the things change around you because you're only changing the world you're on not the world you're in 
Huh, that's a good one. Ooh, let that sink in a moment. <laughs> our little, so this is our, so we're just, we're already in town. So that's how quick our house is to the, to the, our little town of Oneonta here. And so it's pretty, kind of your typical little town here. We have the, the, the typical fair here. So this is literally our little downtown. And I'm not sure how much of it we'll be able to see from, for where we're going. But just people around here say we live in the sticks. Yeah, yes, exactly. People who come from the city, such as like, you know, the outskirts in Birmingham, everyone thinks that we actually live in, in the middle of nowhere and the sticks and so but it's kind of funny. It's like, well we got we have, you know, all the typical American fare here, so it's it doesn't feel like the sticks here and <laughs> but there's not a whole lot to choose from. But once again, I've been, well, I'm gonna close the window. It's really warm out today though. We're, it's been raining and raw and cold. So we've got a beautiful sunny day. So we're like, yeah, let's let's head out. Let's head out to uh, get us some more potting soil and some more seed starter. So as you can see it, it is a very rural environment as well here. So lots of, lots of farming and lots of land. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a glimpse of, of our little downtown here. I hope not, I'm not making you dizzy here. <laughs> Um, so you guys can just get a little little bit of an idea. So as like I said, no matter where you guys are, no matter where you live, it's always, um, if you're guided to share where and when and how you are, then there's always somebody out there who's interested in, in hearing what you have to share. So I'm reminded more and more uh, to be bold and speak up so everyone can hear what I have to share because it, when I share, it inspires all of you to share as well and then we get excited by your sharing <laughs> so see what a, a, a an amazing little uh, beautiful circuit that creates and did I pass it? I think I passed oh did you really oh here I wasn't even painting did you no, see I'm not painting I was like no I don't think so so see we're already here so we're coming up to our little lumber supply place here and it literally took like seven minutes. <laughs> um, we're never far from a fire a fireworks store. That is funny too. Never been in one, but so we've got the, the little lumber yard and kind of a home, kind of a home supply store over there for. Well, as you can see on the wall there, I'll show you. <laughs> and then over here is our tractor supply, which literally carries. A lot of a lot of things. Uh, one of the tractor supplies that I went to in Tennessee actually had baby chicks, <laughs> so that was kind of fun. So as you, they got all the plants out, the soil, um, it's really warming up here. So we're getting ready to prepare for starting our new garden in our new space, and we're excited once again to share all of these these beautiful new growth experiences, literally and figuratively, with all of you. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look and uh, let you know what's up, and we'll talk to you guys real soon. Ni valiento vesheno e a la cena, ti ava tore vesona, e te va goso, a la shete vesono, te And Turtle says, have a good day too. How about you, Dave? Yeah, I'm not who I am. I'm not who I am. I'm not who I am. And don't forget to always pay attention to the messages from up here. Yeah, to be We love you. Love you. Talk soon.